What's up guys? Today, we're going to be starting Act Delta of Turnabout in the Lighthouse of Lunacy. It's part 20. Last time, well, uh, let's just say that uh, shit went down hill fast. We were succeeding, and then it turns out the key that we've been wondering, uh, we've been wondering where this key is since the very start of the trial and it turns out it was in Aurelia's stomach the whole time somehow and this fact game reveal caused it to have a mental breakdown and go completely crazy and that was the end of Act 3 which was and actually Act 3 was uh, quite short compared to um, Act 2 because I think it was I think it's about double the length Act 2 compared to Act 3 and Act 1 was quite short as well. I think that was about half the length of Act 3. It was sort of just an introductory act. But now we're going to be starting act, a new act, Act Delta. Or Act Triangle if you want. But I'm pretty sure that's the Greek letter Delta. Um, and who knows what's going to happen now. Because if you've seen the ending of the last one, it was the end. You know, the case is over. It's finished. So whatever comes next is something completely new we'll see what happens oh yeah and uh, before we start as well um i said in the last video that i would want to be recording this quite soon afterwards uh because i was really excited to see what's going to happen next but imja had you know some kind of fault with it because on the day i was going to record See the images bar here, uh, it had like a red line um, coming up here. And whenever you see that red line, it means that assets haven't been loaded properly. So I wasn't able to record the night I wanted it to. I actually did record a different case uh, at that time because I had time to record. Which um, I'll either release it after I've done playing turn about in the lighthouse of lunacy or i might post that episode if i don't have enough recordings to fill a week but hopefully that shouldn't happen hopefully we'll be able to get through turn about in the lighthouse of lunacy and then i'll get back to the case there the new case that i started but with all that out the way i'm very excited to see what happens so let's go back to having no pet almost no penalty bar Oh, so this, this is Dan Lead, or I think. You're still here. What? You're curious what happens next. Seems pretty straightforward to me. Aurelia confesses and loses the trial. She's indicted for murder later on and goes to jail. Maybe her lawyer manages to get her sentence down to a dozen years or so. If she can afford a decent one after having to hand over all her money to little Miss Holden, that is. But hey, I heard there are a couple good ones out there that pretty much work for free. I wonder who he's talking about. Was there a real mastermind? Who knows? Too late to prove now. And naturally, Aurelia and Lillian never talk again. What do you think? I wish I could see your faces right now. I'd love to gauge your opinion. It's probably something along the lines of, let's see... What is this shit? Can't blame you. It's pretty garbage as far as endings go. I mean, sure, subverts expectations and all that, but yeah. The human brain can't help but feel irritated by something with so many unresolved plot points. Like whatever the hell is in that book that Aurelia was so desperate to cover up that she was willing to confess to a crime she didn't commit to make sure the contents of the book were never read. And actually, on that point about um, unresolved plot threats, um, I don't know if you've ever seen, it's a fa famous film, Pulp Fiction, but um, the famous uh, briefcase where they open it and the characters can see whatever's in it and they're like, wow, whatever, that, that thing in there, is, is that really that thing? But they don't mention what the thing is called. 
It's just something really valuable. Um, and it's ba basically it's the concept of a MacGuffin. And that's basically what that uh, that book is, isn't it? Unless we find out what's in there. But if not, if we do only ever find out it's dark secrets, and that's basically what it is. Is it more effective to have the audience imagine, you know, uh, what's in there? Um, because whatever they imagine is a lot more exciting than what it actually could be. Or is it better to just reveal it? Um, <laughs> I think you can tell that... Uh, I've been taught this in film studies, but it is an interesting point. Um, it's the same with horror stories as well. You have the um, ju jump scares happen. You don't clearly see what the monster is, at least in, uh, at least when you're still early on in the film, because it's scarier what you imagine. Anyway, <laughs> well, what was it to expect with such a crappy protagonist? Couldn't be helped, really. This is all happening in her thoughts. Shut up. This all happened because of you. Look who's here. Wasn't sure if you'd still make it to this session. You should know better than to blame me for this, though. Ooh. After all, I'm already dead. Probably. Hmm. So this is all our evidence again, but not fully loaded in yet. I'm going to assume that this is random text that means nothing. You're trying really hard to convince yourself you earn this. Alas, the truth prevails. And this would have been where the press passes. Your sense of self-preservation remains strong. A shadow cast by many fears, no doubt. And this would have been where the gun is. You know, it won't help for long, no matter how much you consume. They say recognition is the first step. When will you take the next? So this would have been the cake. A hole in your a hole in the heart, but yours is deeper. This would have been the autopsy, I think. Home, sweet home. My bad, guess you wouldn't understand the sentiment. I was I assume this was something this was something related to the uh study that Than Lee was in. Be prepared to kill. The prize this prize would be claimed any other way. That was the knife. You fear objective truth. You want to have a say. Yet you know that's presumptuous. I'd say you did take out quite a loan. Time to pay your dues with interest. This would have been tender mender, the cleaning spray. When you break up a door open, it will never close again. You have to make sure to keep this one shut. Finally going to make it would have been the door, obviously. Finally going to make it on the news. This time it's your own achievement. You should be proud. So the newspaper article which she says she didn't write, um this time she's going on because she killed someone. At least looking locking it away is not a permanent solution only destruction is permanent but is it even possible to accomplish that I'm glad that backfired on you a textbook lesson about selfishness how is it to feel like a fraud do you remember what that's like a world without worries can't allow yourself to do that there's no getting rid of me no noise can draw me out your greatest fear is that be true you do sometimes hope you could be someone like her when the honest path fails, the darkness becomes appealing. A shame you're stuck with being you. So trying to make everything sound so profound. Delusions will turn you into a tragic hero. You're almost there. All that's left is your signed confession. What could go wrong? Time heals all wounds. Supposedly. You might want to think of a plan B. Uh, that's the... Um, that's got to be the autopsy of uh, God. You have a clear case of Globus Hystericus. I see you're trying to make this lie difficult. Will that make you feel better about doing it? You worry a lot about that. Your thoughts, once you'll have nowhere left to go, a bit too early to worry, we're not even close, and may never be at this rate. The universe itself pronounced you guilty. It's not worth trying to explain it. Take the long overdue rest you desire so much. This was the key to find the thing we got. Good job. She'll leave you alone now. This was Lily. But make no mistake, her expectations weren't the problem. <laughs> What's this? Come on, you're used to regrets. Such disdain for the agents of truth. At least stop trying to rationalise it. You crashed and burned. It makes you feel better about being someone who gave up. That's the detective. Would it even be a lie? Even if you did not shoot her, you still killed her. So that's Melanie Holden. 
Are you reminded of your failure? Imagine what you must have looked like to everyone else. If you want to make up things so badly, then spare her the pain. Susan Holden. If only you could delude yourself only half as well. Still, it's thanks to her that this will be over. Oh, of course. Oh, please. You only feel this rage because you failed to do it yourself. You wonder if he knew me? I diagnose you with a severe case of paranoia. But is it a symptom of your lies or merely a distraction? That's undercover. Um, who is this? Who are you? Is this, um, what's her name? Um, <laughs> Victoria. And another one for the pile. Oh, this is God. How many do we have now? I've lost count. I know you haven't. Hello, it's me. The reason we can't have good things. Don't look too closely or your health cards might crumble. Worry about your own anger issues. Impressive it took you this this long for you to lose it. Perhaps being locked away is what you need. So this, so is these two the uh, rich guys. This is, um, what's his name? And this is Nelland. This is angry old man, I think. Oh, and this is, and Nel Nelland was pretty angry himself, so I'm saying also anger issues. But I did an angry voice for him, ironically enough. How much money makes up for a human life? It's easy to sense your doubts. Finding that treasure won't fix this easier. Uh, that's um uh rolling. Way to go, hypocrite. Seems like exposing the truth is fair as long as it doesn't involve yourself. So innocent, so carefree, couldn't be you, not anymore. Jealous? Um So is so this one must be lead then, and this one is uh What's the name? Um, Marico Polo. After all, I'm already dead. Probably. Let's try a little harder instead of just picking the easy scapegoat. Hmm? You tricked me, and then you forced me to do all of this. Aurelio, Aurelia, so insistent. Nobody forced you to do any of this. You had so many chances to turn around and walk away. But you didn't. You just wanted to bury all of it. Hey, I suppose congratulations are in order. You finally got what you wanted. Good job. This is what I wanted? You got rid of the book? No. Don't be ridiculous. It wasn't supposed to be like this. You didn't seriously think you could do this clean and easy, did you? It's enough of a miracle nobody found this until now. Like I always used to say, to be ignorant of the truth is to live in a house of cards. You're wrong. Those words were a lie. If, if I'd never learned about what you did, my life wouldn't have gone down the drain like this. You think you could have kept deluding yourself? No, you'd have ended up like King Oedipus all the same. I've proven you wrong now. Now this is gone, I'll be free from you. Yeah, here I am. The truth remains the truth, even if all physical evidence of it is erased. I like how it's, his hat's kind of bent off to the side here, which is a very uncanny effect. Of course, we've got, he's got blood spots all over him too. <laughs> the convenient thing about something with no proof is that I can just ignore it. Oh, so you can ignore me now. Removing a couple sheets of paper suddenly stops the spiral. Go right ahead then. You'll find that memories can be pesky things to get rid of. Just watch me. I'll be able to fix things from here. Oh my, this session might not be enough. You, you need some serious help. He was referring to sessions because he was like a psychologist. So maybe Aurelia was one of his patients. Don't think that by trying to prove me wrong, you're basically just proving... Don't you think that by trying to prove me wrong, you're basically just proving me right? Mind blowing, I know. Might have to let that sink in for a while. Just because he's a bad guy doesn't mean he can't have a point. Can you even judge the merit of truth on your own instead of simply disagreeing with him? What are you doing here? Hey, you sure did a number on me there. I feel that earned me a spot in the blame game. I'm not blaming you. You just didn't know. Yes, you are. You're still chatting with us like nothing's wrong. But you've been keeping your distance these last years. 
I get that. Here we are, expecting you to keep faking a smile. And now you've finally had enough and pushed me away. Well done! I didn't mean to come off that way. You were just trying to help. You couldn't have known this was something I had to take care of on my own. Sucks not to be able to tell the truth, huh? We can work it out later after this is all over. Don't lie to yourself. You're glad that this happened. You just want everyone to go away. Especially me, the walking lie detector. Such a pain to keep your act up around me. You look forward to the comfort you'll find in solitude. That's not... After this is over, we can... I don't know how to do your voice in a long time. That little book is the reason I got killed. You should have stayed quiet and let me stab you. Then you wouldn't have had to deal with all of this pain now. You're a criminal yourself. What gives you the right to think you're any better than me? I didn't do what you did. It's that simple. I may have helped out the lead, but at least I wasn't a naive tool. You tried to kill me. And you killed me successfully. Your point? That's not true. I never actually shot you. I think. Do you seriously believe I would have died if you hadn't come to this tower? This whole business was tied to your reckless plan and you know that quite well. I couldn't have known this would happen though. No point, because you can't forgive yourself for it regardless. I had a daughter to take care of, you know. Who are you going to be useful for after this? You can't even help your own sorry self. Playing the daughter card won't work. She's part of the reason it's gotten to this. You relate to her pain. She reminds you of yourself. Someone who is greedy. Someone who will hide the truth for her own selfish desires. We're all cut from the same cloth in that regard. I'm doing this to make up for my mistakes. We're not the same. Don't call my conscious selfishness. Oh, zip it. You're actually pretty relieved that I'm dead. I was in the best position to figure out your secret after all. But you feel a little guilty about it. Wonderful. I suppose it's all okay then. You're the one who made it impossible for me to look for the book. You're the one that suddenly decided to hold this auction. You could have tried asking. You would have definitely read it if I did. Suppose that justifies crime. That's nothing compared to what you were involved in. So, I get to voice you again. Anyone want to clue me in what I deserve this for? Okay, I really didn't have anything to do with that. I have no clue what happened to you either. Nice try, man. But there's no slipping past me. Me getting off is obviously tied to the first murder somehow. If only you'd stayed home, we could have all still been minding our own business. You know that was no option. How was I supposed to know it was going to lead to this? People just keep dying around you, man. Innocent people. How many more will it take? Shut up. You can't put this all on me. It's over now. At least it won't have been for nothing. Oh yeah, because you're getting your pay up. That really just saves my day. Well, our time is sadly up, Aurelia. Which is another psychologist thing. So a therapist thing. All I have to do is read the rewards. It's not productive to think about any of this. There's only one option here. Confess to the crime. I mean, there is literally only one option here, so... <laughs> Oh, is that hesitation? Why does it have to be like this? Don't get me wrong, Aurelia. You don't get to, Don't get me wrong, Aurelia. You don't get to do anything else. I only said so because I don't know what's really up. I absolutely will hate you if I learn about what you did. I might not say it openly, but I will judge you so hard in my mind. You have to do this. It's for the best. It's for the best. It's for the best. Yeah, I got to be included. It's the best you've got. So stop moping around and take your pick. CONFESS TO THE CRIME! It's 
not worth it. Why? Why does this have to be the only thing I can do? Why did Victoria have to force this to happen? Why did Mrs. Holden and her daughter get me caught up in this? Why? Why? Why couldn't everyone just let me have this one thing? Ah, oh, enough of that, Aurelia. Um, Aurelia, why are you just sitting there and closing your eyes and talking to nobody? <laughs> That's what I imagine the judge is thinking right now. Enough of that, Aurelia. You keep blaming everyone. You keep coming up with reasons why this truth should stay concealed. At least have the honesty to admit that they're all excuses. You just didn't want anyone to know anyone to know what you did. This fiend has only one face, and it's your own. <laughs> um, I've actually, uh, I think this is referencing um, the fiend with many faces from a turnabout with too many faces. Go away. Do you hate me? Yes. Can you forgive me? Of course not. Why? People die because of you. I never had any bad intentions. It doesn't matter. You should have seen it. Who would have seen that coming? Someone who wasn't as naive. You were way too trusting. You kept talking about truth, but you weren't even able to practice what you preach. You blame me with hindsight. You know you're being unfair to me. If it was anyone else, you'd be able to show some compassion. So what's the difference with me? I don't have the right to forgive you. And I'm too ashamed. And I'm scared it will happen again if I do. Hmm, let's see. Figures that's the best I'll get. It looks like I can't forgive you either. What? You still haven't learned anything. You think anonymously sending money to the victims will redeem you? That's you trying to take the easy way out and you know it won't work. What else can I do? It's better than nothing. It's you trying to pay off your sins. Indulgence doesn't work. Neither does all this mental self-flagellation. There's no way around that if I can't just forget. And you certainly tried that as well, to no avail. You never tried to fix anything, you just wanted to numb the pain. How can I look at that and think you've grown since then? You embody Einstein's definition of insanity. Got any ideas what I should do, genius? I know you know. I wouldn't be here if I did. Yes, you would, because it's the one thing you don't want to do. Heaven only rewards those that take the hard way. It's time to face purgatory. What if it also doesn't work? You won't find any guarantees. That's why it's the hard way. The hard one. Damn it. I'm really left with nothing else. There's nobody else I can leave this to. Not confessing was never an option. It wasn't. Confess to your real crime. Getting all our evidence back. And getting us <laughs> not much, but a bit of our health well back. Miss Chase! You said you wish to confess? Yes, Your Honor. That's my intention. I've made the criminal see reason in the end. Outstanding. I hope you didn't expect anything less from Victoria Preston. Worry not, Aurelia. I'm bound by my word. Your little secret shall never be uncovered. Oh, I wasn't planning to confess to this murder. I've got something far worse to confess to. What in the world are you thinking? Is your memory so subpar you once again forgot the situation you're in? You can put that right back wherever you pulled it out from. If I'm going down, I'm going down on my own terms. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you all about what's in that book. The fetus made you lose your mind. 
You've abandoned reason for one last self-destructive act of defiance. Do as you wish. I won't deny the loser's last privilege to choose the manner of their demise. I don't have time for this. What you'll find in that book is a long list of names plus some other data. As you might have figured from where it's found, this is connected to Dr. Lee. It's a list of all his subjects. Oh, so it's a list. Doesn't sound so bad. Wait, you don't mean subjects with Dr. Leeds? Of course. I'm afraid you always have to expect the worst with that monster. And you'll also find that my name shows up in those documents. Your name? Does that mean you're one of these subjects? No. I was far from a victim. I think we've already addressed the atrocities that man was involved in. The relevant ones here is abhorrent psychological experiments. In order to efficiently conduct those, he first needed something. He is human subjects. Even with his criminal connections, he didn't want to rely on kidnapping people off the street. That's where I came in. I became his recruiter. I was studying journalism at the time, which put me in a prime position to spread the word. I started walking around campus, convincing students to participate in a study by the renowned Dr. Lee. And I was good at it. There was probably hundreds that decided to try it out. Of course, Dr. Lee wasn't an idiot. He knew he couldn't just start torturing everyone that came in. Most of the participants only had to sit through one light session of cognitive behavioral therapy. The exceptions were those he ended up taking a special interest in. You will find that 15 students from that list are still missing to this day. Nobody knows what happened to them. There are another 41 that suffered severe mental trauma. Out of those, about 24 have been involved, have later been involved in violent crimes. Four had to be admitted to mental institutions. Nobody had any idea this was going on until after Dr. Lee disappeared in the BU2 incident. Dear Lord, you were directly working for the lead. Did you know that this was happening? I had no idea either. I noticed some odd signs here and there, but how could I have ever imagined something like that? Then... Really? This was the bad thing? You couldn't have known that he was actually like a demented psychopath. Oh, Aurelia. Stupid, stupidly uh, self-loathing for so long. She didn't know? How'd you not notice that? The people she recruited literally went missing. Terrible excuse, she sent those students to their death. Oh, well, they don't, th they don't think the same thing either. Miss Chase, I can't help but notice. That article of yours doesn't mention your personal involvement in this matter at all. That's correct, John. I... I couldn't face what I did, and I tried to conceal my involvement. That book is the last remaining proof of me working for Dr. Lee. I broke into the city to get rid of it. That's why I was here. What a load of rubbish! She's feigning ignorance! Sounds like a criminal covering up her mess. I bet she's in league with that JP Corporation as well. Yeah, explains how she got the info for that article. She just sold out her boss for fame and profit when things went awry. Listen to me, you're the hyenas eat each other. A little gauntlet voice is that. I knew this would happen, endure it. Nobody hears a story like that without assuming I'm involved more deeply. I mean, I did, but I guess that's protagonist bias. I'm not ready for this yet. I'm not sure how to start. It goes. I'm sorry. You were right, I was scared. I got overwhelmed and completely snapped. You didn't deserve that, after all you've done. Can we start over? You should have said that you meant to confess to this. Well, that was kind of a 
last second course correction. I can't accept that. Of course, I didn't expect you to. It's just a cheap apology at this point. I felt you were hiding something. I didn't know what to say. I wanted to know what was going on, or didn't know how to ask properly. And I got so frustrated. I imagine anybody would have. It was still your choice what you were comfortable to share. You should have respected it. I asked you more straightforwardly. Instead, I fired back in kind by not telling you what happened on the t lower floor. I thought the best way to let you know my frustration was to make you feel the same thing. But that wasn't fair. I only made you suffer more. Those were frankly deserved consequences of my actions. If I hadn't pulled any of this, you never would have gotten to the point where you felt that way. No, you don't get to shoulder all the blame. It was my own choice how to react. I could have handled that better. You did that out of consideration. That's not something I could fault you for. It might not have been for you. Maybe I only wanted to trick you into doing what I wanted. Because I'd blame myself if you got convicted. These cases always happen around me. I should have had the power to stop this, but I couldn't. Yeah, that's why I shifted all the pressure back onto you. Well, that's still not comparable to what I... Aurelia, please. Fine. Everyone sucks here, to some degree. Fair compromise? That's more like it. I wonder how this case would have turned out if we'd managed to do this sooner. Definitely couldn't have gone worse than this. I hate being too late so much. Don't diminish this by calling it too late. Yes, it's too late to avoid this mess, but the small victory is still making me feel a little better. Okay, okay, we do that. I just wish I could have asked the right questions before you got forced into this. You can still ask. Go ahead. Huh? But you already... Suffered my way through that? Yeah. You know me, though. I probably left out enough to warrant some pressing. Don't hold back now. I always thought we'd work better if you didn't try to be so charitable. I'm done with dodging questions. Hit me. Alright, time to do this properly. Aurelia, why'd you even work for that league guy? Ugh. She literally hit me. Ugh. Wasn't that a bit much? How does that even work? Like you asked for, less charitable. Seems like souls might be a little more sensitive. What did I unleash? Am I still stuck in hard mode now? There's no way you just work for such a big time criminal and not notice what's up. So what's really going on here? Help me get it. Alright, I'll give you the whole story. You will have to start at my birth for that. That far back? What is this, Assassin's Creed 2? I don't remember much about my father. Most of what I know is, been, is what I've been told. He was a soldier. He got deployed to some foreign country. Say how old he is, but a war veteran. He died, but I was still too young to be sad about it. You might assume he got killed in combat, but that's not what happened. It's what happened after he returned. Post traumatic stress disorder. It's a common problem in the military. You've heard of it. People with PTSD continually relive traumatic events they experienced. Manifests in many harmful symptoms depending on the person. My father's helped deteriorate from stress and self destructive behaviour. That's what ultimately led to his death. My mother was pregnant with my sister when he died. It was a trying time. However, there was somebody who chose to support us a brother in arms of my father, a fellow member of the military. The death of his friend seemed to have hit him just as hard. That mutual loss brought us together. He grew close with my mother. Two years later, they married. Constantin Chase. He took our surname in honor of his friend. Hmm. He seemed like a good man. Smart, brave, kind, a patriot. For all intents and purposes, I considered him my new father. I respected him. That was a dream he would often talk about. It had been his life's mission ever since he saw what happened to his comrade. 
As a doctor of psychology, his main role in the army was to care for everyone's mental well-being. But he wasn't satisfied with what little impact he made. He was determined to find new, more effective treatment methods for PTSD. I thought he was amazing. Who couldn't help but respect him for fighting to better the lives of so many people? And I still want to think that. At the time, he truly believed in it. Something changed at some point. I think it was when he was deployed to the front line of another war for a few months. He began acting strangely when he returned. Something must have happened. Than lead. That's the name he suddenly started using. I figured he just needed some kind of code name. He eventually got that secret service job after all. Anyway, it should make sense why I help him now. He basically was my father for most of my life and I greatly respected him. Of course I was eager to give it a try when he asked me he, ne he needed participants for a study. There were signs that something wasn't right. It's not like I was blind to them. Some of the people that signed up with Dr. Reed stopped coming to university. It would have been hard for me to not eventually notice a pattern, but I, I willingly ignored those signs. I refused to even consider the possibility that he could have anything to do with them. It was a long time before I recognized the truth. My mother's divorce was probably what ended up opening my eyes. I tried looking for answers, but it was too little, too late. My proof wouldn't have been enough to convict him of anything, so I did nothing. I started avoiding all contact with him, and that was it. Even after he apparently died in that mansion, I kept doing nothing. It seemed like a good chance to forget I ever had any connection to that man. So half a year later, that was. The evidence I hadn't been able to find suddenly showed up in my mailbox. Details of the experiments, his connections to the JP Corporation, even stuff I hadn't known about. And instead of being thrilled about it, I got worried. Who sent me these? What messages were they trying to send? Did they want me to reveal this? It took me another five months to decide what to do. And then I didn't even do it because I thought the truth should come out. I was doing poorly at work and this seemed like the only way forward. Of course, I had to proof first to make sure my own name wasn't mentioned. Why should I deserve to be punished for this? I was deceived as well. I kept telling myself things like that. You should get what happened afterwards. I erased all traces of my involvement with Dr. Lead. Except for one document I knew existed. The list of students I'd written to keep track of as study participants. I knew what the book looked like that he kept them in. It was quite a distinct design. However, I had no idea where he kept it. I figured, or hoped, that it would just never be found. Until I read about the auction, that is. The list of items for sale included a description of what was no doubt that very book. That's when I couldn't help but worry again. The book was still there. And it would soon be sold to someone who would no doubt have been curious about its contents. Which brings us back to the present. Well, I never would have guessed your connection went this deep. You can just hear what those people would say if they knew all this. Like father, like daughter, they'd be saying something like that. Don't listen to them. He did some wrong things for sure, but... No buts. I've already gone through all possible excuses. I failed to live up to my own words. I willfully ignored the truth and I proceeded to conceal and falsify the evidence. It's not why a detective the cream of queen of crime instead of living up to that standard I only tried to drag it down you don't have to keep being that hard on yourself come now please be honest you should be pretty disappointed with me as well not yet what thanks for telling me that must have been pretty difficult but people shouldn't only be judged by their past it's how they deal with it in the present and you're doing much better there now than a few hours ago. I guess you could say it's better late than never. The detective gets to flounder along the way. What matters is the final answer they come up with. I'm not sure if it's to be called an answer or just resignation. I'm not talking about that. There's still a case to be solved. What are you talking about? I already lost. There's no way out of Victoria's checkmate. Well, maybe you're able to think more clearly now that you've got all of that off your chest. 
if you really think there's no chance we can do it, then I'll accept it. So what do you think? It's not like I'll suddenly see the light all of a sudden. I won't say this didn't help, but it doesn't change that I already tried everything I could. So did I, but I think mainly managed to be all that coordinated in this trial so far. Well, true. Things always were kind of awkward. Sorry about that. Now that we can put our heads together properly, we might be able to figure this out. Well, why not? I've pretty much got nothing left to lose. Okay, so you really didn't fire that gun, right? Time to set this straight. You got me. Even though it makes no sense, I felt no recoil. I figured from the start that this was probably a frame. But if someone hated me enough to frame me, I thought they probably knew about what I did. I didn't want that this direction to be explored, so I tried to argue with self-defense instead. Man, you really threw me for a loop with that. Sorry. Anyway. Were you sent to Victoria earlier? Were you being legit there? Do you think there's a mastermind who told Victoria with the key? Victoria is even better than you at deluding herself, but she can't fool me. Someone slipped her that info, knowing full well she's the kind to take full credit for it. Interesting. That would certainly imply a mastermind. Aha, uh -huh, but Victoria sucked too much and they had to give her a little hand. If that's true, then this culprit has to be currently trapped on this floor with us. There's no way to communicate this from outside and no way to leave. Well, there's one way to leave, but you just fall to your death. Parachute? Don't even go there. I guess we can't fully deny it until we do another head count. But I'm also pretty certain that 200 meters is not high enough to safely parachute out of here. Yeah, my hunch is that we're still complete. Are you sure you didn't notice anyone suspicious yet? You've been in a better position to observe the audience. The real culprit would have to be lying very blatantly, so it should be easy for you to tell. You're right. I have confidence in my ability to pick up on corporate vibes. I've talked to pretty much everyone, but I didn't notice anything like that. Otherwise I'd have told you, obviously. So does that mean there's no culprit here after all? I don't know. Maybe they somehow dodged me. Or my gut instinct failed. Can't ever be easy, can it? If we at least had a suspect, we'd be able to work backwards from there. That leaves us stuck with having to explain away a key that I somehow ate. I think I actually figured that one out. Already considered the key. It's nonsense and wouldn't work. Oh! It's not coming to me how that could have been accomplished. There might actually be magic involved in this case. That's cheating! We're talking about a potential murderer here. Why wouldn't they cheat if they have the means? If stopping time is possible, it's trivial to explain this fun. The culprit could simply have warped up during the struggle and used my gun. Getting me to swallow the key without noticing would be easy as well. How do we convince anyone of that? Well, we have a time stopping power right here. Even if it's not capable of those things. True. Still, I don't feel like that's it. There's too much stuff to happen here that wouldn't be necessary. Like, if you could do that kind of stuff, you might as well just stop time during the auction. Then, they could have made you shoot her in front of everyone. Much more simple and practical to frame you that way. There has to be some explanation, even if it's an insane one. In mystery novels, they often try to make you think something could have only been done with magic. They're really convincing sometimes. The logic seems to inevitably rule out all sane ideas. That's almost never it. They're doing the same thing as magicians on stage. It's normally some pretty mundane explanation hidden in a blind spot behind a lot of distractions. I'm still trying to think then of a mundane explanation. Or an explanation hidden in the blinds, but I'll probably keep it in. So this is impossible to create a copy. Does that mean it's impossible to create, you know, just based on that key? You can't just like duplicate it. Or does that mean it would be impossible for the manufacturer who created it to make a second one? It's not really clear. And if that is the case, then it has to have been locked in the front of the stomach and it's such a tight time frame. 
thing you can keep stopping time for a month or so to let me think about it. We're close to the limit, actually. It needs to be charged if I keep this up for too long. No stuff then. I definitely need more time to sort this out. And there aren't any more ways to stall. Victoria really predicted and sealed off all possible moves. There still has to be a way to catch her off guard. She thinks she can predict every move like this is chess. So it's clear what we need. And what's that? A move so unexpected she couldn't possibly have seen it coming. Your king is trapped? Do a backflip. Take your own pieces. And those are very clearly just straight up illegal moves. Well, even if Victoria likes to see it that way, this ain't chess. Can't we do something to find a way to talk about the second mana? I get the feeling that's where we'll find the answer to our problems. Unfortunately, I got completely locked off as well. I doubt the judge will listen to anything anymore until I can explain that damn kid. But I evidently can't right now. No, wait, there is a way. He figures something out. Obviously not, but if our goal is just to buy time, I think there's um, still a move we can make. Think about it. There's a way to explain the king. One person has totally had the chance to plant it. She gonna accuse herself, or have Aurelia accuse her to get her onto the stand and talking about the second murder? We've been over why there's nobody like that. No, there is one person that had the opportunity to do it. In theory, we only need an explanation that passes the test, right? Doesn't that have to be what really happened? You don't mean? That's crazy. Are you actually okay with pulling something like that? Since you were finally honest with me, I think I'll allow it this time. The lie can be found and its purpose is to uncover the truth. Oh, we're out of time. Battery's low. That couldn't have been more poorly timed. Lock her up already. Order! <laughs> Please settle down, everyone. I felt like I was banging my go for like 10 minutes there. Aurelia Chase, you will have to reveal your true nature in these final moments. This confession demonstrates you are depraved, of very low intelligence, or both. However, you have shown you may be capable of reflection in the end. A remarkable harm, Marcia. The average observer may have been able to reach catharsis. There was naturally no doubt that I would be able to achieve the perfect ending to this tragedy. That is all that had to be stated. Lower the curtain, Judge. Who said I was done? You truly have no artistic sense. What else could you add that would not ruin the moment? The missing parts in your confession are honestly superfluous. You did well to corner me to this point, Victoria. There is, however, a single mistake you made. You should have taken your victory when you had the chance. Because now it might just slip through your fingers. At this stage, your efforts have become categorically Sisyphean. Circumstances haven't appreciably changed with your confession. Oh, it made a huge difference. You lost your trump card. It was very effective, but now I've got nothing left to lose. Pray that I won't manage to claw back out of this hole, or there won't be anything you can do. Is hollow bravado all you wanted to add? Please spare us this tiresome fast, Judge. Certainly. This chase's motives are clear now, but they change nothing about the case. You're the only one who could have shot the victim and hit the key, defendant. I've had a little bit of time to think about it now, you know. And I've realized who it was. I know who managed to plant that key. The both those is just another bluff of yours. You said you'd give me a chance, your honor. I honestly admit that I had no idea of it. I didn't use up my shot yet. I suppose you didn't. Very well. You will get one chance. One! If this makes no sense, or no difference to the case, I will immediately end it. I'm standing on the thinnest of ice, but that's who's me just fine. That way I won't even have to think about whether I should pull all the stops. I'm going to have to try and pull off the rules of the century. Earlier we established that it should have been impossible for anyone else to plant that kid. I couldn't have eaten it before the crime, and there was nobody that could have fed it to me after. But that's incorrect. There was, in fact, one person that had the opportunity. 
So I'm thinking I'll go for using a stupid solution to keep this trial going. It doesn't have to be true. It doesn't even have to be plausible. It only has to be something that can't be easily denied with logic and the established facts. I present the true culprit. This person had the opportunity to plant the key. I'm pretty sure it's Lily. I wonder what would happen if we presented under COVID. Uh, I just made the... <laughs> I've made a save just in... Because it might have some bonus dialogue because of the cake thing. Before I entered this tower, Mr. Cobra sold me one of his cakes. Who's to say that cake didn't contain the key? In tile, I've illustrated why the key could not have been planted before the murder. The method of tether would have gone off. Furthermore, it would have made it impossible to lock the study door. In addition, anybody would notice a key hidden in such a manner, unless their eating habits were beyond unrefined. I'm sure all of that can be explained away. Why you performed adequately in the dramatic build up? You need to improve the actual intelligence of your suggestions. That's hardly anything new or surprising. End it, Judge. I don't see how that person could have planted the key at all. Your theory lacks merit, just like your entire case. As the plaintiff said, it's time to bring this trial to an end. But no, it's actually a I'm sure this is what you meant. Still, I have to make sure we're on the same page. May I have this dance? Huh, you still had to ask? Try not to trip up too much. Got the health bar back. The one who planted the key. It's you, Lillian. You're the real mastermind behind this case. Did I hear that right? You're accusing Miss Maristella? Wasn't she on your side? Yeah, why would you say something like that, Aurelia? After I tried to help you out so many times. I won't deny that you've been helpful. But I'm afraid that's simply a result of you being too clever for your own good. It's just the sort of thing a murder mystery enjoyer would do to appear less suspicious. So that's the extent of our friendship. You betray it just like that? I wish I wouldn't have to do this, but it's the only rational answer. Which means you're the traitor here. No matter what this is supposed to be, we should not be subjected to it. The defendant is bluffing. Even the least intelligent observer should see this is mere chicanery. Is that true? Your Honor, I'm accusing my best friend of murder. That's not a choice I would make lightly. Do I look like I'm not completely serious to you? I didn't mean to imply you weren't, but... Elucidate your ostensible logic, then. Well, it cannot be disputed that Lillian was permitted to be alone with you after the crime. Are you seriously going to claim the provided her an opportunity to insert a key into your mouth? Absolutely. And we are meant to simply accept this at that as an I claim. There is no scenario which is remotely palpable. Yeah, tell her, Victoria! Do not dare attempt to act like you're on my side now. I really hope that we're not to explain this one left with no choice. It shouldn't come as a surprise that the crime left me in shock and disbelief. As a result, Lillian spent some time comforting me in that side room and things got a little intense. What do you mean by that? The details might be a little too passionate for this call. There was slapping involved, among other things. Oh my! Eh? Don't get flustered now. This is the only way to sell it I can think of. How dare you plant such debauchery in our minds? Even you would certainly not lower yourself to that conduct with such inappropriate timing. Strange things can happen when emotions run high. I'm not sure what to say. The bottom line is that Lillian was as close to my mouth as you can possibly get. She absolutely had a chance to slip in that key. So she's not going to blow the judge's mind with pausing time. She's going to say, uh, things got a little hot and heavy. And uh, while she was distracted, Lillian managed to uh, get the key in the mouth. Well, I just could certainly see why you prefer to keep this private. Though I assume you have no actual proof for this. Well, actually, Your Honor, um... 
if you'll go and talk to Undercover, he should be able to tell you that Lillian is uh, my wife. No shot. Aurelia's wild, but she's not into recording herself. And I deny everything. She's totally exaggerating how intimate it actually got. You, know, you knew nobody would buy such a ridiculous story. It's exactly why you did it. And you also can't disprove it. That'll be enough for now, because there's more pointing towards you. Take the fact that you're clearly only the only one that could have murdered Mr. Guard. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you don't get to do that. That isn't relevant to what we're talking about. It very much is the key to how you must find this incident. I would like to remind everyone of my theory that the victim was poisoned. Come on, get with the program. It's been denied already. That's not quite correct. We determined that no unknown substances were present on the display case. This only rules out everyone except you, Lily. I'd like to remind the court that there is still no other explanation for this utterly unusual symptoms the victim showed. I don't follow this chase. How does no poison being found rule out rule everyone, including her? When did the display case get checked? It was after the second crime. This actually leaves us with two possibilities. One, there was never any poison on that case. And two, there was poison on that case when the victim was there, but it was cleaned up later. Only one person could have cleaned it up. The one that had no alibi out of those that went downstairs. You conveniently carried the means to do it with you. <laughs> the guard must have seen you erasing the evidence. That's why he had to die as well. Very becoming more ludicrous. Lillian has never been to this tower before, let alone the lock floor. Forget removing the poison. There was no way for her to plant it in the first place. The only one who would be able to confirm that for sure was the very security guard she killed. Which means my original poison theory is still on the table, if she is involved. Even if we were to concede that, the theory is inconsequential to this trial. It's inconceivable the poison actually killed her. Furthermore, Lillian is not the plaintiff. This Slayer rule would not apply to her. Well, regardless, we ought to... Ah, I see what you're trying to do now. You're going to abuse the fact that this is a civil trial. Very clever, Aurelia. Uh, right. Guess you caught on, huh? Follow my lead and repeat my next phrase. Right, Your Honor, I request to file a motion. A motion is going to the trial? What is it now? I consider it a strong possibility that Lillian poisoned Mrs. Holden. She knew the poison would impair her judgment and make her more likely to attack me. She knew I'd hit this auction and made sure this encounter would happen far in advance. It was her goal from the start to frame me, but it's clear she contributed to this outcome. I therefore want to submit a third party complaint against her. What do you suggest that is? You can complain all you want, it won't change the fact that this isn't her trial. Aren't you supposed to be a lawyer? You should know this stuff. A third party complaint can be filed by a defending party in a civil trial if they think someone is liable. That person is then added as a defendant. She's trying to shift some of the responsibility on me. Indeed. It happens quite often in civil trials as people are not eager to accept full responsibility for anything. If this Chase's theory is true, then this move certainly makes sense. There's nothing remotely sensical about this. Aurelia is unable to dispute her own guilt. This trial is decided. I'm afraid this is still relevant to the outcome of this trial. After all, if Lillian contributed to Miss Holden's death, I shouldn't be sentenced to pay the full amount of one million. If she's found to have contributed, say, 30%, then Lillian should be paying 300k of that. We can't conclude this trial until the question of her involvement is sorted out. This is a lazy, heartless, half witted attempt to prolong this trial. I request a motion to strike everything the defendant said, because it is an affront to rationality. Well, it certainly seems hard to tell if this motion is made in good faith. So what do we do now? This is as far as your plan went? You should have known she'd fight a tooth and nail. I thought it was good enough to pass. There's still a way to save this. Leave the rest to me. 
Are you sure you're speaking in your client's best interest there, Victoria? My client was distressed to be set up without further delays, like any rational person. I'm broke. Even if you sentence me to pay one million, you'd be hard pressed to collect even half of that. Lillian, on the other hand. Well, I won't claim she's swimming in cash, but she runs a shop. Just look at that outfit. She's got some money to waste. Hey! If your client actually wants to see money, you'd have better chances to get a decent amount with no defendant. I will not be entertaining your transparent proposals, Aurelia. Why don't we let her do it? This is not up for debate. Learn your lesson and listen to my orders. Ignore your limits and accept this outcome. Oh, we're appealing to the gambler here. Rich stuff, weren't you all about not settling for average? Don't misunderstand. I can read her as well. It's a desperation move because she thinks she can turn the tables later. She's doubling down while in the worst spot. And that never ends well. Let her, I say. You're out of your asinine mind. My, my impeccable checkmate. Why would you put an effort to move out of it? There is something you can always count on with bad gamblers. They don't know how to quit when they're ahead. You seem terrified at the prospect. What, do you suddenly not think you can handle a couple more desperate arguments? Or is it that your bag of tricks has run out? This would have been set up ages ago but wasn't for everyone's ill by his interference. This court had to cease allowing her to keep getting away with this. Credit where it's due. You really did have me cornered. I'm sure you predicted all rational moves, maybe even all asinine moves. But that didn't mean I was out of moves. I still have the option to do what you hate the most. A move so unfathomably irrational that you never could have considered it. If the plaintiff does not object, then I see no need to deliberate. The defendant's motion to file a third party complaint is hereby granted. And we will see how that goes next time. <laughs> Damn, the table's turned pretty quickly and you know it's kind of the reverse of episode 19 where we thought we were winning and then the tables got turned and things keep getting worse for most of the episode now suddenly things are beginning to look up again i mean we're not quite out of the woods yet because we've actually just accused our one of our best friends or probably our best friend of because you know to say best friend just a good friend but you know she's pretty much our best friend of, you know, murder. So, we're gonna, um, we're gonna see what happens next time, yeah. I'm very excited, um, it's got turned, this is the start of the turnabout. Um, see you next time.